Hey, hey, hey. So, again, I'm here to show you guys how to build your own tabletop grow light system so you can grow seedlings, herbs, flowers at home, in your classroom, in your basement. And so that's what we're here today to just talk about what are the steps to build. To build your grow light system, you need number one, PVC. You need some sort of tape measure or a marker, a cutting tool, a saw. I like to use a ratchet cutter. You're also gonna need a type of LED light that's full spectrum. You're gonna need T's, elbows, and caps for your PVC pipe. In addition to that, you're gonna need some sort of timer, a heating mat, and as well as a thermostat to monitor the soil. Those are the basic materials that you need in order to build this tabletop uh, PVC system, grow light system. Now is the bum that you all have been waiting for. We're gonna to put together one of the systems. So first step is to cut your PVC pipe. So we have a 26 inch cut. You have two that are 16 inches. You have four that are six inches a piece. Those are the main cuts that you have off of that eight foot PVC pipe. So once you have your cut, what I like to do is take the longer piece, which is the 26 inches, add your elbows to it on both sides. Then once you have your elbows in place, you now take the 16 inch cut. One for this end. And one for the other end. So you have that piece there, making like a nice little U. Then what I like to do next is go ahead and build like the leg part of it. So I take one six inch, put on one side of the T, another six inch on the other side of the T, add two little caps. And the caps are there just for like stability, makes it look like a, you don't want nobody looking down the barrel of your PVC pipe, right? What? So then I do the same thing again. Two T, six inch to another T, put my caps on. And I flip it around this way. Then I attach them to the U. One on that side. One on this side. And voila, I have the tabletop. So then the next thing I do, once you have your tabletop in place, you might have to adjust a little bit on your table and things like that. You want to install like your light fixture. So like I said, you want to get like a full spectrum LED light. Um, definitely make sure you get the full spectrum one because it mimics um, sunlight. Um, it has like the right type of like hue that's needed for growing your vegetable plant. And the other thing you want to purchase is making sure I, these are just like hanging basket hooks that you get like for a hanging like flower pot. So you want to get those that are just attached to your PVC pipe. They buy them at the hardware store. Again, you just want to have it. This helps like stabilize and keeps your grow light system in place. All right, so what I like about this grow light system is that it already has um, like a link for you to kind of connect your chain and stuff to it. So you just naturally just kind of connect this to the base of this one. Voila. So with the grow light system with this tabletop, and why I like the link chains in particular is that as your plant starts to get bigger, you could just utilize the hook in the chain just to kind of keep raising it up. Because the goal is that you want your light fixture to be roughly always about six inches from like the tip of the plant. So by having this chain, all I'm doing is just moving up like one link at a time, kind of moving up one link, one link, until it kind of gets to the point was ready for me to transport it, um, transplant it outside. So this again is just like your basic sort of setup. And then what I do, once I have it all set up with the plants, you guys will see the next video, the full out system, but this is just the basic of what it is. Then making sure that you have an outlet to plug your stuff in so the lights can kind of come on. And then the last thing I add to it is, you wanna have a heat mat. So the heat mat is there for one, again, it's still kind of cool here. 
So you want to make sure that your soil temperature is at the right level for the seeds to germinate. And so on average with our cool season stuff, you want your soil temperature to be about 50 to 60 degrees. But when we get into our warmer stuff like your tomatoes and peppers, you want your soil temperature to be about um, 70 degrees. So by having this heat mat, in addition to having this thermostat, which will monitor your soil temperature, you're able to get it exactly the soil where it needs to be at for germination. So it's almost like I tell people that with the seeds, you want it nice and cozy with the soil in order for it to feel like alive and warm and vital. Now that we put the, the tabletop together, so now you have a, an inexpensive grow light system so you can like grow um, your vegetables, your flowers, your herbs right at home on a small like two foot table, again, in your garage, the corner of your house or in your classroom. And that's what it's all about. So we're gonna show you like step by step how we fill this tray up with um, seasonal uh, vegetables. So just again, I thank you so much for watching another video. Make sure you guys follow us on social media, stay connected, but most importantly, share this video with your friends, your students in the classroom. And don't forget just to give us a holler. We'll come out there and show you guys how to do this yourself in the community where you're at.